This is Seven National News and in our top story. The UA Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, offered his heartfelt condolences to the family of Thama Saeed Salman, who died in a motorcycling accident in the Al Ain Desert on Friday evening. 35-year-old Thama Saeed Salman, the Vice President of the Ajman University of Science and Technology, was buried on Saturday in Ajman. Sheikh Mohammed was accompanied on his visit to the home of the family in Ajman today by the director of Sheikh Mohammed's office, Lieutenant General Musaba Rashid Al Fatan, Dubai's director of protocol and hospitality, Khalifa Saeed Suleiman, and Mohammed Juma Al Nabuda. The Pink Caravan continued its journey into Dubai on Saturday, led by Sheikha Salama and Sheikha Shama, the daughters of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. Saturday marked the eighth day of the third annual UAE horseback journey for breast cancer awareness. The Pink Caravan campaign also promotes early detection and offers free clinical examinations and screenings to both Emirati citizens and expat residents through its medical teams and mobile clinics. Arriving in Dubai, the riders started their journey from the Union House in Jumeirah and made a stop at the Burj Al Arab, where Sheikha Salama and Sheikha Shama joined the Pink Riders for the first time as royal ambassadors for the cause. According to statistics, a total of 514 people were screened on the seventh day of the ride, where 349 were women and 165 were men. Out of the total, 61 people were Emiratis and 553 were expats. The 10-day horseback ride will continue its journey in Dubai today, before heading towards Alain on Monday and finishing in Abu Dhabi on a Tuesday. Uh, this is the third year of the Pink Caravan ride, and it has been around since uh, 2011. On average, we cover about 300 kilometers each year, so this year we would have passed the 1,000 kilometer mark. And we engage about 15 riders every day. So we also have a few extra horses that we keep aside for royal riders, as we have today. The Foreign and Commonwealth Office is making changes to the way they deliver British passports to those here in the UAE. British passport holders are being told to submit passport applications online to the Identity and Passport Service in the UK from the 11th of February. An FCA press release has revealed for passport renewal, British nationals must allow at least four weeks from the date the fee is taken and all the correct documentation has been received. If you are applying for the first time or you are replacing a lost or stolen passport, you should allow at least six weeks. The Ministry of Interior is urging all motorists with children to use child seats in their cars. After an accident on Thursday night saw three Emirati children injured and their mother killed on a truck road. According to a local daily, new laws are being prepared to make child seats mandatory for all children to prevent fatal injuries. And under the current law, children under the age of 10 are not allowed to travel in the front passenger seat. The ministry is also urging cars to avoid truck roads where the latest accident took place, as well as a crash that claimed the lives of 24 workers earlier last week. And additionally, the Minister of Environment and Water, Dr. Rashid Ahmed bin Farhad, has issued a number of ministerial resolutions banning the import of animal products from three different countries. The resolutions ban imports of live young hooved animals and their products from Algeria, live birds and poultry products from Bulgaria, and live cattle and cattle leather from Lebanon. After five years of negotiations, Dubai's Camelicious brand has won EU approval to export its products into 27 European countries and in turn making it the UAE the first Middle Eastern country to export camel milk products into Europe. European countries will soon be able to reap the health benefits of camel milk products, from milkshakes to cheeses, as announced by the Emirates Industry for Camel Milk and Products. 
It also announced that it was in talks with French cosmetics companies about using camel milk powder in makeup due to its high lanolin content, as well as a number of European countries for baby powder and medicine. Researchers claim camel milk contains less than half the fat of cow's milk, 40% of the cholesterol, and three times the amount of vitamin C. Over 200,000 Chinese residents living in the UAE welcomed in Chinese New Year, the year of the snake today, and are looking forward to a prosperous year. According to ancient Chinese wisdom, a snake in the house is a good omen, as it means your family will not starve. The reptile is sixth in the cycle, and it returns every 12th year. The snake is keen, cunning, and wise. Lucy Chuang and her family have been living in the UAE for eight years now, and they believe that the year will start off with a few ups and downs. However, as the year progresses, there will be positive signs of growth, happiness and success. Lucy added that the new year does not fall on a specific date, but rather goes according to the lunar calendar. Celebrations started late last night as millions of Chinese cheered and counted down the final seconds of the previous year. Chinese New Year is the gathering for the Chinese. And uh, now we have around uh, 160,000 Chinese residents in, in Dubai. And it's around uh, uh, over 200,000 uh, 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 Chinese residents in, in UAE. And now, uh, during the Chinese New Year, quite a lot of Chinese, uh, they uh, went back to China to celebrate the Chinese New Year together with their parents. But of course, uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, Chinese residents still uh, stay in, in UAE and in Dubai. So uh, definitely, and then we just uh, take this chance, take this time, and then to uh, gathering with the friends together, with the, especially the, the, uh, the colleagues, uh, the friends uh, together to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Lucy's sons, Eric and Victor, both students of the Dubai International Academy, stated that monetary gifts are given during the holidays or special occasions. The presents are offered in a red envelope which commonly contains money. The red bag is like, um, it's a very special thing. It's for the children only. And what we do is we have to kind of like um, ask our parents for a uh, a red bag. In, in generally, in the bag, there's money in it. And this year, we got uh, 500 drums, which is actually a lot, if you think for a day anyway. So we would have to go to our parents, and then we'd have to like, you know, put our hands like this and say, "Gong shi fa tai," and then she, we would have to be on our knees as well. And then she would give us the money, and then you know, we'd have to recap about our achievements this year. And depending, it's kind of like Christmas. It depends on what you did good and what you did bad. It will like overall change the amount of money you get. Our family can get together, we can like have a, nice, uh, have a nice meal and then we can watch TV together and eat lots of snacks. It's like I always look forward to it every single year. And finally, looking to other news, VIPs, socialites and jewellery enthusiasts gathered for the launch of the Maha Al Sibai Jewellery Boutique in J3 Mall Jumeirah under the patronage of Sheikh of Fatima Bint Hasha bin Dalmuk on Saturday. Jewellery designer Maha Al Sibai founded her high-end jewellery line in 2006, with an emphasis on the use of diamonds and other precious stones. The designer has achieved international recognition and awards for her work, having won the Best Jewellery Designer in the Middle East Award in 2001 and 2, and was also shortlisted as one of the best jewellery designers in the world in Italy in 2003. The launch of the new boutique was in collaboration with the Travel Café, who provided food for guests, and Palais des Arjano, the brainchild of Sarah Kambar, who showcased her latest collection of Moroccan-style handmade kaftans and buyers. What I chose for today's collection, the stones are really rare, uh, color-wise, cut-wise, and size-wise. So uh, I think it's going to be really different. We have really big uh, pieces, like uh, we have two uh, special stones, which are yellow diamonds, fancy yellow diamonds. They are really big. And uh, we have other stones, which are rare, used in jewelry, So uh, and, and they have special cuts as well. So uh, the collection is really uh, today uh, different from the other ones before.